Hello ladies and gentlemen, it's Mike here at Game From Scratch, and today we have a pretty large Unity bundle here. Uh, it's actually useful outside of Unity, but you're gonna have to jump through hoops to get these models out. This is the Ultimate Fantasy Unity RPG Developer Bundle. There's a lot of RPG bundles going on with Humble right now. This one, again, is focused on Unity developers. It is assets from Infinity PBR, but on top of that, we've also got some courses from Jason Weissman, a name you may know if you are in the Unity community. So if you do not know how Humble bundles work, it's a collection of stuff, in this case, mostly 3D models and a couple of courses that are all redeemed on other sites, uh, mostly the Unity Asset Store. Once they are redeemed, it's like you bought them directly from the Unity Asset Store itself. Organized into tiers, uh, you buy a higher dollar value tier, you get all the lower value stuff, you decide how your money is allocated between Humble, the charity, the publisher, and if you so choose, thank you so much if you do, to help support Game From Scratch. So here we got the $1 tier, and you're probably not going to buy it, because basically what you're getting here is a slime monster, a low polygon uh character mushroom monster and the portraits pack and then we go to the mid tier which you're also probably not going to buy just because of the value of it so $25 Canadian or probably about 20 bucks US uh, you're getting a couple more low polygon creatures again nobody is going to buy this one what you will buy is this guy right here uh, which is $30 US I believe $38 Canadian because at that level what you're getting is well you get a 10% off coupon for infinity PBR you're getting the three Jason Weissman courses one for unity for 2d side scroller uh, one for top down and one for FPS. Uh, they're, they're slated as having an MSRP of $1,000 a piece. That seems a little high for courses, but I have never used them or run through them or anything. If you've got any experience with his work, uh, do let me know. It is a separate site available over here. Uh, so uh, there are mastery courses uh, that you're getting in this particular case. So if you want to learn more about it, you can there. Uh, on top of that, there's also a course on the game modules. Game modules is an aspect of this bundle we'll get to in just a second. And then we're getting into the 3D model part. So you're getting the half orc RPG characters, uh, the armor pack volume two, the dragons, which by the way, we're in a previous humble bundle, uh, modules, which is a bunch of extensions for doing things like character skills, drag and drop inventory, that kind of stuff. So if you're creating your own RPG game, these are a number of systems that you would need to implement. Uh, we have a weapons pack over here. We have another thing of dragons. Uh, we have a set of devils. This was in a previous bundle, by the way. So do be careful. You're not rebuying something. You're getting the Dungeons 2 pack. We'll see this in just a second. This is um, a modular kit for creating dungeon environments. Uh, Battle Sounds Library, the Minotaur character pack, the Serpent Warrior character pack, the Gargoyle character pack, the Scorpion character pack. And these are all really high quality. We'll show you that in just a minute. So it's not just a simple polygonal model. There is a lot more to it than that. And then we're getting a bunch of low polygon stuff. Some low polygon versions of what we just saw. So for example, Gargoyle and Gargoyle here, but you also got Fishman, Bats, Bomber, uh, skeletal warrior and demons and then we've got the eye guy uh, from both in high and low basically a beholder with tentacles coming out of it so that is the basic bundle let's take a quick look at some of the stuff that's in it by the way if you're interested in seeing more hands-on or in depth with this one um or the dungeons pack let me know those are probably the only two that are like, kind of require a little bit more explanation uh but let us start with them so here this is the dungeons kit uh the module stuff is here as well again you can do stuff like uh, drag and drop inventory and so on it's a little tricky to actually demonstrate it so i will show this instead this is all the assets you need to go ahead and create a dungeon environment like what you see you'll even notice you've got uh, audio you got a uh, first person character mover that is part of the modules pack you do get uh, character movement and such but there you see openable doors so when I click it it opens up so combine this and the, uh, the stuff from the modules you've got a lot of the framework you need to start creating your own dungeon crawler style game so anyways that is the one set up so next we're gonna go we're gonna stop that so there's no more music playing quit all right and now we're going to get into some of the characters. So let's go open this guy up right here. This is the gargoyle character. Uh, so it's loaded. It's over here in the scene. I'll actually just show you it running. So you can get an idea of what the extent of these characters actually is. Uh, all right. So here you go. There you can see the gargoyle in action. This is one such example. The cool thing about it is almost all of these things have multiple different skins, like what you see here. Um, and then on top of that, they're all fully rigged. So again, we could go here flying and back to the ground. Uh, we've got idle, various different attacks available. And the thing that you'll notice on top of that for this character is there's also um, audio hooked up to it. So this is a very in-depth pack. These aren't just like models. These are actually game-ready, drag-and-drop, prefab, prefab, drop them into your game. A lot of these also come with the um, substance designer files behind them. So if you want to work on them or extend them. Uh, so that was the, uh, the gargoyle. 
Here we'll go see the uh, the low poly version of it. So same thing, just low poly. Uh, by the way, I'm using the built-in pipeline, but you can you can convert these to work with all three of the major pipelines. By the way, so you can see the low poly version. Uh, basically the same character. Again, you got a number of different animations for it. Uh, you do have different skins, but obviously the big difference here is that this one is low poly. The other neat thing is there's a number of blend shapes here. So you can really mix it up or randomize creatures. So if you've got, um, you know, if you want to spawn gargles, but you don't want them all look the same, you can actually use these blend shapes to create uh, different versions of them very instant or very quickly. Here is another example. This is the scorpion character in this pack. Um, so I haven't done the the uh, environment download, so there should there could be an image in the background. I just don't really care about it. I just want to show you the characters. So here you can again see it. This guy has multiple different attacks available, death animation, and so on. So everything is fully rigged, full idle. Uh, again, we've got walk cycles for things. I think I'm currently dead, so that might cause some problems. And again, you have texture sets available here. So if you want, you've got different looks for the various different characters. The cool thing about this particular character is it is also modular. So if you want to go ahead and get rid of some of the legs, you can do so. Um, you can't get rid of the, the tail, but you can also get rid of the arms like so. So it, it looks very weird now. Uh, but And again, like the other ones, this one also has blend shape support. So let's just create random versions of it. So you're seeing just slightly different variations. So that, that way it doesn't seem super samey in your game, uh, which is definitely nice. So these, again, are not just simple models. Uh, there's definitely a lot more to them. Here we're going to see the Serpent Warrior. This is going to be the end of the uh, creature's hands-on portion of this video. But it'll give you an idea, again, of what quality you get. They're, they're very consistent quality uh, in what they have. So that part is mildly annoying. So here you can see the character. By the way, you can... You can have them move like this. You also have attack animations. And once again, you're noticing there's audio for all these characters as well. So we can go back. Let's, let's undo the locomotion. All right, how do I get you back to default? All right, so here we're going to go backwards. We'll do it that way. You again have options here for turning things off and on. So if you do want what, the pouch on, you can turn the pouch off on the one side. And again, if you want to make this character stronger, you can do so here. You notice we've just bulked out in that regard. Let's move him forward again. So you can big, skinny, and so on. So you've got a ton of control with these particular characters. And again, they can all literally just be dragged and dropped into your scene. To work with these guys is super simple. Let's go to the default scene here for Unity. Like so, sample scene. I want to go ahead and use one of these guys. I just basically find it here. So here's the serpent. I'll go to the prefab. I'll grab the version of it. And then boom, it's in my scene and ready to go. That is the extent of the amount of work that has to go into using these guys as long as you are working in Unity, obviously. If you're going to be getting these um, out, out of Unity, what you're going to have to do is export out the FPX, which are available in the models director. So you do get all of the models, all the textures for everything you're working with. But if you're using the Godot game, in, or good game engine or the Unreal game engine, you're obviously going to have to do some conversion work. This is a very Unity focused bundle. So that is how the creatures work. They're all very high quality. And then we get into there's a couple of other kind of odds and sods. Here is the armor pack two, I think you can see it kind of a demo of all of the various different armor sets here. They look very good, modular, you can swap them out. They've got tools for uh, sizing them onto your characters. So if you're using say that half orc character, you want to apply an armor set to it, uh, you can do so. Um, we've got other things here. So we've also got a weapon set. Let me go find the weapons. So I'll go here just to the weapons and we'll just look at the prefab. So prefabs, you've got tons of different things like swords and spears and daggers and so on. And then if we come on down here, we also have a sound library. So for example, the sound library that's part of this and you want to do is here's various different things like axes and swords. So here's swords. So we can have swords hitting or swords on flesh, swords on metal, swords on wood sound so go to swords here and here's a sword hitting another metal so this is a sword on metal and there you go so you've got some uh pretty robust stuff in here uh and that's kind of the extent of the bundle it's pretty straightforward the only thing i really can't give you a, a comment on all of the all of the assets in here are of a very high quality, and there's more to it, again, than just being rigged. You're literally talking about fully rigged, sound controller, setup, game-ready prefabs you can literally drop into your game and go with. Uh, and then we've also got the modules kit and the... Um, the modules kit as well as the dungeons kit for creating your worlds. Let me know if you want to see an individual follow-up video on those two things, and I will do my best. Um, and then the other aspect here is the three Jason Weissman courses plus the one on the game modules. So again, for having 
character statistics, weapons in your world, and so on. That's what the modules is all about, and there's a course specifically for that. And then we've got the three uh, Jason Weissman Game Dev Mastery courses, one for 2D side-scrollers, one for top-down games, and one for SPS games. Again, I do not have any previous ability or uh, experience with those ones. So if you do have an opinion, I would love to hear what it is. But that, ladies and gentlemen, is that. That is the fantasy... Um, the Ultimate Fantasy Unity RPG Developer Bundle. Uh, and again, like I said, RPGs are really having a lot of love for game developers right now because you'll see here they have this bundle, but they also have the RPG Maker, literally the Game Engine Bundle, and the Game Dev RPG Bundle for like 2D pixel art style RPG assets. By the way, this bundle also launched and I didn't cover it. There's the Krodos SFX plugins for game audio. But again, the one we are talking about very specifically today is the Ultimate, Ultimate Fantasy RPG Developer Bundle. Uh, a good high quality set of fantasy assets for... Um, people making, I guess, realistic and or low poly. Now, there's the only kind of downside to it. Your low, your low poly is only going to be useful if you're creating a low poly set. So you've got, I think, seven or eight low poly character models um, if you go that style. And then we've got about eight uh, really high quality, realistic well, realistic fantasy, I guess, but uh, that more realistic art style. But as you saw from both sets, they're fully rigged with sound and controllers and everything else. It's amazing uh, the kind of drag and drop level and support of these actual assets. So um, again, let me know if you're interested in seeing a little bit more in depth about the RPG modules and perhaps the dungeon creator. Uh, and I will do my best to cover them in a follow-up video. But let me know what you think of this bundle in general, the uh, Ultimate Fantasy Unity RPG Developer Software Bundle. Uh, that's it. I will talk to you all later. Goodbye.